YouTubers, it's Jennifer. And today is going to be a very interesting video. So I am sitting outside instead of my bedroom because I am going to attempt, and I say attempt, to take apart my entire carburetor for my scooter, clean it out, and then put it back together. Now, I say attempt because worst case scenario that um, I don't do it properly and then I'm going to have to go down to where I bought the scooter and have them fix it, which is hilarious. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Everybody that I've ever talked to says it's pretty easy, but we will find out, shall we? Because I've never done this before and there's a lot of little parts. So, on that note, you need a few different items. You need your scooter. You need your tools. You need your cleaner fluid. You need something to hold the, t the parts in when you take them out. You need towels and pipe cleaners, I figured, because there's little tiny holes and I'm hoping that the pipe cleaners will fit in there and kind of clean out the holes. I don't know, we will find out. So, basically, I already went ahead and took out my seat um, here. So is not going the way I want it to at all. Great, so now I'm just stripping my fucking... Why are you not coming off? Fuck. 
fuck it. That's part one. I'm going to have to wait to get a hose till my mom comes home. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Awesome. Or I can get my neighbor to take me because he goes um, a lot of times to stores. So I might do that or call a friend. I'll probably just call a friend so I can do it and get it done and over with and test it out. Yeah, okay, on that note. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. I am here at AutoZone, so we are gonna go try and find this hose. Let's do it, shall we? Let's. I also got a tire inflator for my bicycle tires, just in case. And yeah, so now we will continue on with trying to attempt to put this thing back together. Um, I did keep the springy, well, obviously I kept the springy thing, uh, but I did take the springy thing into AutoZone so that way I could put it inside of the springy thing and make sure it actually fit and it does so that's good. He did cut it a little bit longer than this one here. I kept the broken one just in case I need to go back in there and say that this one doesn't fit but it should because it's the same size. Anyway so that's what we're going to do is at least get this back on there and We'll go from there and then if, and then I'll just pour the fuel stuff in my gas tank. Cause at this point I'm not getting my carburetor off. I think I stripped the screws and that's awesome. Yes.
All right, guys, that was a very long and choppy video, so I apologize. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, I did put all of the parts back where they were supposed to. I'm glad I got a new hose because the hose was actually probably cracked when before I even took it out. And I put the fuel injector cleaner in it, as you guys saw, and uh, hopefully I let it run I idled it um, let the fuel run through to kind of get it clean it does sound a lot better so that's a plus and it does idle a lot better before it would idle for a good few minutes but then it would just die so I am pretty sure that's a different problem but now it seems to idle for at least a good 10 minutes um, and I wanted to do that on purpose to get it kind of the gas to kind of run through but it does start up. I did have to put starter fluid in it, which kind of sucked. That's why I wanted to do this initially, is to stop putting starter fluid in all the time. But it's a scooter, like I said, and I'm probably gonna end up having to take it to the shop that I bought it from and get it full on tune up because they're professionals and they can, yeah, basically, do, or I might be able to trade it in. I don't want to trade my scooter in, but my scooter's kind of, yeah, it's, I literally have to duct tape the, the front of the seat cover down because I lost the little clippy things for the inside. I know this outro is getting a little long, but anyways, so if you guys liked this video, hit that thumbs up button, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any thoughts, comments, concerns, if you just want to cut me up and say, Oh my God, I can't believe that she tried to do that, but trial and error. Um, I'm going to jump in the shower now because I smell like gasoline and I'm dirty and I just feel gross. So, Catch me on my next video. I probably will be taking out my scooter later on today to do a ride along with me video because I did buy a head mount for my uh, helmet. So that's gonna be fun. We'll try that out. And you guys say awesome. Bye. All right, so yes, I am in my pajamas. I know this, but this is the next day. That I'm trying to start my scooter and we're gonna see if it actually runs. So or starts up without starting the
All right, so long story short, I'm pretty much convinced that either um, I'm going to trade in my scooter or I'm going to have the professional fix it. If I can trade it in, I will gladly trade it in and trade up because I basically, yeah, this thing is just fucking just screwed up right and left all over the place. So that's the ending to my video. And like I said, hope you guys liked my video. I'm sorry. I apologize that it's choppy. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I am still going to do a ride along with me video on my scooter. Um, hopefully, if it will make it to the shop itself, I might take it there later on. Not anytime soon, but we'll figure that out. You guys stay awesome. Bye.